Mindflow Radio. Mindflow Radio. Here we are. <laughs> we made it. The eternal present. <laughs> Look at that. Yep. He's Monty. She's Jalen. And we have Tony with us. Yeah. Hello, Good hello, seeing hello. you. Good yeah. seeing you, brother. Awesome to be here. <laughs> uh-huh. Yep. And he's a doctor at our local ER. Yes. We're very grateful for his friendship and his service to our community. Indeed. Yeah. Yeah. Big responsibilities. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
How do you unwind? How do I unwind? Yeah, from the well, pressure of all yeah. That. Mm. So I have this opportunity to like live in the forest, mm. which I was so always like, mm. that's never gonna really happen. Like, how do you actually live in a forest? And mm. now that I, I get to stay at a cabin just outside of town, it's just amazing place to recuperate and you know reorganize my soul into yeah. something that's more effective and sustainable mm. so nature is is yeah. your medicine yeah i was just thinking my son who's 10 when i was his age we lived adjacent to this box canyon you know actually not very far from baroque either different different space but kind of an analogous area forest so i basically grew up in a forest mm. next to a canyon not far from a stream just outside of Viroqua. And, mm -hmm. you know, again, it's like, I want to live that way, mm -hmm. like forever. But That's then all of a sudden I'm in this urban jungle, Chicago thing. Like, how did, how did that happen? Yeah, right. <laughs> you know? cement, cement. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, right. The cement jungle. Yeah. So it's neat to be able to come back home after a number of years being away and, and now for a, a number of further years, like live the way I had hoped I would live someday. Yeah. Manifested it. Yeah. Yeah. I just yeah. want to say too, being in a, in a big city works for a lot of people. I mean, it's totally possible to still connect with the Dow from yeah. the middle of Chicago. I think. You know? I think it's more challenging. <laughs> yeah. Perhaps. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, we, we each have different. Yeah. Thresholds. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, and I mean, if we're, if, Ram Das used to talk about this, how he could totally connect to nature, to the universe, as he's like saying a mantra walking around Times Square, mm. you know, so I'm just... I can see that yeah. too. I just don't know if I could live that way. I, I'm i grateful that yeah. so many people can, but yeah, I mm -hmm. personally, I think at some point you just got to drive out to the the forest the the park the mm -hmm. you know that's why there are parks and cities just right. to have that little bit of it's yeah. true yeah you know you see people meditating or sitting by a tree mm -hmm. and you know that's what they're doing <laughs> <clears throat> i just had a flashback to the park mm -hmm. quote unquote park that was sadly next to this inner city trauma center that i used to work at and uh -huh. that <laughs> That would would have been quite the experience in nature to go to that park. Mm. Yeah, right. <laughs> like, right. Not close. Otherworldly, <laughs> right? Yeah. You you may not escape to the other side of it. You know, oh, kind wow. of situation. Yeah. Like this yeah. is like this is like an American city here. Like, yeah. How is this how it is? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you know, and and it's you know, it's like you're saying, like you can connect in other venues and ways of living. 
you should connect to the divine yeah. but living in the forest or you know sort of just living in this kind of driftless viroqua type lifestyle that many of us have established is just easier mm -hmm. and i you know i need that like mm -hmm. i'm way distracted by so many other things so mm -hmm. To have it really easy to, you know, connect to the divine, mm -hmm. which is a necessary state to have the most fulfilling life. You know, it's just like, for me, I got to live in the forest. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's just how it is. Yeah. And tap into the creativity and the yeah. inspiration, yeah. Just insights, all, all of it. revelations. Yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, just yeah. a shout out to all those thousands of people who can get there in the city as well. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, that's one thing about cities. When I used to live in, in Milwaukee... I was just really connected with the like the meditation groups and mm -hmm. yoga groups and healthy social scene would be very I mean yeah anywhere but tai especially chi. in a city you got to have some healthy social well anywhere you need it. yeah anywhere that's yeah. we're so fortunate here to have our our peeps and our tribe and mm -hmm. yeah. I'm eternally grateful for yeah. that yeah yeah it's pretty amazing well and the mm -hmm. people in the city who you know, you have to do what you have to do to, to have connections to things beyond just the material of course, and mm -hmm. yeah. have your people that you have there. But then, you know, to foster as we're seeing now for those that are ready for the journey into the driftless, it's kind of neat that they can actually come and, mm -hmm. you know, spend some time with us yeah. mm -hmm. in, in our attempts to maintain authenticity and a state of serenity and just connecting to to the divine energy mm -hmm. we can all kind of share that with other people which i think is in you know in, in my vision of the of the next you know evolution of the area that's in part what will happen is that we'll heal ourselves we will heal ourselves by sharing that crazy jubilation of what we've got going on here with oh, people yeah. that are ready for that as they journey in mm -hmm. looking for like you know yeah. where where do i go in the world to find that mm -hmm. yeah you know, probably does exist other places, but mm -hmm. like yeah. this is just a high concentration of humankind matrix network where that's really going on, you know, and, Oops. and, uh, <laughs> I don't know. I just, I'm just excited for that to see that kind of, that sort of synergy of like the people seeking that. And then those of us that are in that realm trying to find further, celebration and appreciation by sharing that with them mm -hmm. and that's kind of a part of the healing process mm -hmm. is getting to the place of sharing mm -hmm. and there's the student and then the teacher yeah. and then the student becomes the teacher right i know it's a, I mean, which is the whole point of your podcast in many ways yeah, yeah. right yeah you know in and the virtual sense for me teaching is one of the best highs yeah <laughs> i know, know right i yeah. mean that yeah, I was I was uh, joking with our friend Maria the other day about how, you know, I just get almost this manic state where she's just like, you know, bombarded with this, this like <laughs> lecture. Teaching. And it's like, this is not a conversation. Uh -huh. You're just talking. And uh -huh. <laughs> like, I just, I, I'm so <clears throat> like starved for like teaching because know, of, right? there's been less opportunities with COVID to have like students. Yeah. And, you know, that was my whole previous life was basically I was more of a teacher than I was even a doctor. Okay. You know, not to not have the opportunity to like explain concepts and like delve into these things I'm passionate about and, yeah. you know, yeah, rediscovering totally. myself. And so anyway, our friend is the she's the, you know, the recipient of my of that sort of dialogue. for right. now. Well, we're glad to be the recipient right now of that. Yeah. yeah. So thank you. We'll have to cool. do this more often. Right. Right. Yeah. Exactly. It's a it's a win win. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it is. So I'm curious. Um how you develop vision yeah and um in in this time of developing mm -hmm. right i feel like 2021 is all about developing yeah and and then moving forward probably in a year or mm -hmm. so and just full force here we yeah. go yeah i mean what an opportunity you know to revision your life right now mm -hmm. like Absolutely. if we wanted to revision your life like when we started main street station you know i had all these ideas of how Viroqua would be mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. and that was like 2002 2003 and i was like it's gonna be how it is now 
who knew that it was going to be all those years to really actually get to now, but sure. now is now. And now actually what we were thinking <laughs> would happen yeah. is happening. All right. And huh. so for all of us, you know, every, every human being on the planet right now, there's, there's no more apt necessary, you know, moment to revision your life, mm -hmm. which, you know, exactly. everyone, I'm not certainly the only one saying that everyone is, I think every, a lot of people are naturally drawn to that. So what we've been studying now, um, for example, through the book Beyond Entrepreneurship by Jim Collins, who's famous entrepreneurial professor guy from Stanford who you know now has hmm. this really cool business where he basically essentially helps companies revision their, their, their companies, essentially. So in that book, which I highly recommend, it was just re-released from his original um, publishing of it years ago with his mentor who died, and he created this book. Wow. To sort of say, let's let me just redo this book with my current thinking from what I had years ago. And then really the cool thing, like you were saying, going back to like his mentor and his the master that he studied under mm -hmm. who died, who was mm -hmm. like one of the greatest, you know, human beings in his whole life. So he republished this book, redid this book, revisioned the book, really. Mm -hmm to honor his mentor and it's like oh that is so cool that you know cool. and so it's like a business book but it has so much heart in it you know mm. because of how they wrote this thing together and then how he reauthored it retooled it to honor his his friend <clears throat> and you know and, and his master apprentice type situation so so within that book and you know other sources what i really like about it and what we're, you know what we're what I'm, what I'm doing for myself and then you know, humbly, perhaps as I maybe counsel students and med students and residents and other learners in emergency medicine, um, friends and family and, and, and ventures in the business entrepreneurial realm is like, and, and, and again, as he, as Jim Collins says, you really can't have strategy and tactics and just your business plan, your life plan without understanding what your vision is. Mm -hmm. So in an evidence-based manner, he's developed this vision creation framework, which is, you know, it's just a roadmap. It's like, uh, um, it's a, it's a template. It's a formula as we were you know, saying earlier mm -hmm. in order to create this very user-friendly, authentic vision for your life or for your company, or, you know, you could vision mm -hmm. for your family unit for a relationship, your culture, your, sure. you could revision a culture, humanity, everything should yeah. have a vision. So oh, yeah. And vision is like one of these sort of corporate, you know, foo foo -y things, you know, perhaps. I mean, it can I be, don't know. you know. Don't know. It's but just, it, I mean, in a corporation, you, it's just an organism, yeah, really. I right. Mean, just like individually, we're organisms. Yeah. Corporations are organisms. Our culture is an organism. Yeah. All humanity is an organism. Yeah. And, and there's a brain that having a vision. It right. I think vision is a beautiful word. Yeah. Yeah. Really? What's. I do now. I do now. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, it see it it went for me from this like inauthentic thing i guess is what i'm saying like we have to have a vision here's our vision on the placard and yeah you just you read some of those and they're just yeah. there's no heart and soul in it there's no throwing a bunch of real. words yeah it's a bunch yeah. of words and you and you read the thing and it's blah blah blah, blah, blah and it's like <laughs> no idea what what what, what did they just what are they saying <laughs> you know? yeah, right. it's, like, nah, 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 nah. it's like a like a a templated business plan that you get up, you know, get offline or yeah, something, you know, right. oh, from, sure. from online. And, and it just, Fill you read blah, 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 blah. It's like <laughs> all this gobbledygook and it, it really, there's nothing there at the end of the day. So, yeah. Um, yeah. So, I mean, the, the vision framework, which is cool, which is like, everyone can just sort of take this and, and, you know, read the book, but like the, the cliff notes version of it, the quick and dirty version is mm -hmm. vision is three elements. And these are all like, everyone knows these elements to some degree already so there's no you know there's nothing like sort of spectacular about the these these the, the components of this it's just like these are what they are this is how you could think about it according to you know this guru okay. these are if you put these factors in you know through his academic research and his life experience and you know literally dealing with thousands of companies and organizations both for-profit non-profit just a variety of different elements um, has shown that the that formulating your vision using this framework is effective. Mm -hmm. Kind of the bottom line. Yeah. So it's really simple. It's basically 
Um, I call it, you know, like medically, we have this thing called the CVP, you know, the central venous pressure. So it's CVP and B. So okay. it's CV is core values. So that's really easy. Like sit down, you know, have a glass of mead with <laughs> yourself or with your whoever your collaborators are, if it's an organization or a family or your romantic partner. And just, you know, sketch it out. What do we hold most cherished as far as our beliefs? Mm -hmm. It's almost like our philosophy. Easy. Just your, your, your guiding philosophy. I mean, literally your core values. Mm -hmm. Like they're unassailable. They're unquestionable. They're self-evident. Mm -hmm. They're how you've lived your life, your whole life to that point, sort of developing, you know, the ethics of how you feel you should be. Or, or perhaps how, how you want to, ev what you want to evolve into. Or what you're striving for. Yeah, right. Because yeah. you might want to change some yeah. of your values if they're not serving you, yeah. I would assume. Yeah. Or the company might want to change. Yeah. Yourself. And and to some degree, that's exactly right. And, and you know, ultimately, when you write these down and you say, okay, you, you circle the ones that maybe you all agree on or however, you know, you want to do mm -hmm. it. But at the end of the day, those core values are your core values. Mm -hmm. Like once you establish them, they may have changed from where they were when you were you know, the aggressive, you know, young man as I was, you know, with these sort of egocentric mm -hmm. ambitions and so on. Absolutely. You know, I'll do respect to that. But, yeah. you know, then you sort of figure things out and you evolve mm -hmm. and you grow and you mature and you learn, hopefully. Mm -hmm. And you yeah. are multiply humbled. <laughs> 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 we could life. do multiple podcasts on the many ways that we've all been humbled, you know, sometimes like very painfully. But you come through all that and you yeah. establish, you know, okay, so here's my core values, these, these elements of life. And, and many of the core values are, you know, we all, they're all the same to us, you know, they don't necessarily have to be unique. Mm -hmm. You know, they're sort of like, okay, that, those are, those are good. Those are good core values. Mm -hmm. Um, so, you know, like mine is like, and, and, and like you said, you know, they're not like automatically like achievable, so once you achieve the, once you establish what your core values are, you have to sometimes fight and struggle to, maintain. to achieve, achieve them and maintain them. To get them. there. Yeah. yeah. You know, so absolutely. So like, I want to be, I want to be real and authentic. You know, I want to mm -hmm. like appreciate and celebrate. I want to connect to the divine, you know, things like that. Like the, mm -hmm. e very easy to be distracted from those mm -hmm. yeah. because of my own personal, you know, fears, desires and all that stuff. Um, so establish your, what your core values are and crucially journal them, write them down and, you know, put them on a business card, put them on the wall, do mm -hmm. a calligraphy and, mm -hmm. you know, paint them somewhere so that they're there yeah, yeah. speak them too, and right? speak them mm -hmm. and share them and you know without saying you you need my core values but just like what are yours sure. here's mine you know yeah mm -hmm. and again within an organization make sure every single person involved if it's your own personal one and you mm -hmm. if it's your family like every single one can say okay i i, I can agree. i can agree with those core values yeah. because they ha they're not just core values right. they're really better stated shared core values mm -hmm. what mm -hmm. are those and the second one, which, which Jim Collins says that a lot of companies don't, they skip over the, the, the middle part here, which is the P, which is what is your purpose? Mm. And I'm like, That's oh, a hard one I know. No. And right. It's not necessarily, it sometimes is the hardest thing. Mm -hmm. And so this, as he says, you know, what is, what is the core reason you even bleep and exist? Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. like, um, I like this Spanish term. Um, or like, qual es tu tema? You know, what is your theme? You know, Ooh. what's your deal? Uh -huh. You know, yeah. What's your story? What's I your like story? That. And and what is your particular reason? Again, whether as an as a sole individual, complex <clears throat> mm -hmm. organism, like you said, moving forth into the world, or what is your organization? What is your entrepreneurial company? What is your reason to be here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And as he says, which I, I love this as sort of a guiding framework to yeah. create that is what makes you distinctive and what makes you, you utterly do. irreplaceable. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like compared to other humans, compared mm -hmm. to other yeah. similar yeah. companies, like, sure. you know, sure. how are you different than all these other ones? Mm -hmm. Cause you have to be different to some degree, at least not sort of different for the sake of being different but how do you how are you distinctive mm -hmm. you know 
from all these other entities yeah. that, are, that are similar, you yeah. know, in the similar realm. So, you know, define, you know, what your purpose is. What something. your dharma is from a Buddhist perspective. Mm, okay. Yeah. Well, I think there's yeah. layers of purpose. You know, there's the ultimate purpose of mm -hmm. being connected to divine. Yeah. Right. And then there's the purpose of how do you share this with the world is the purpose of how do you raise your children. And so you're describing your your purpose. Maybe I think there's like a universal purpose. Well, I would agree. Humans. And then there's your individual Perhaps, yeah. purpose mm -hmm. of how how do you bring your unique gifts. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. I think, yeah, I think that's exactly right. And in, in this exercise, what you would do is take all of those elements as you would define them as mm -hmm. they, this, they sort of feel, you know, most like earnest and like deep seated, yeah. like this is my deal. This is, uh -huh. you know, mm -hmm. summarizing all that into a statement of purpose. I like Absolutely. that word theme too. What's my, yeah. Theme? What is my theme? What What's is your theme, theme, man? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, and there's an element too that we need to have like an open mind to allowing our theme to to evolve mm -hmm. you know like you said when we were 20 years old our themes were a bit different than they are now yeah, you yeah, know and yeah. what's what's our theme going to be in the next stage of our yeah, life yeah you know, or yeah the next stage of the company you know? yeah yeah and and so uh, the timeline is interesting so as he describes it in the book your purpose is this guiding star in the distance that you're sort yeah. of always oriented towards mm -hmm. that you're you're um fixing towards that you're setting a course towards mm -hmm. you know yeah and it has it it really you know once you as once you know once you really buy into this like what your true purpose is and on the on the world you mm -hmm. know on the earth in the universe in the world then you orient towards that and it doesn't necessarily change mm -hmm. you know it can change if you have to change it absolutely but the the idea is that you really find a purpose, a reason for existence that that doesn't change because it is so self-evident and so genuine and true within you know within the core essence of the people involved in that organization. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the guiding star in the distance is the P, the purpose, and then the the last one, which is in some ways the most fun, um, is what he calls so it's CVP and B. So the B stands for BHAG. I don't know if people have heard of that BHAG. Mm -hmm. So that's a that's another phrase that Jim coined, um, which is your big, hairy, audacious goal. <laughs> so your big hairy, aka audacious. what you know in the corporate world they would call your mission. Oh, you know, okay. you know. So oh, okay. So your mission <laughs> is your BHAG, and you know it it's it is what he's trying to describe there. This is something that is you know like what does audacious mean? You know, it means like. You're you're striving for this crazy goal yeah. that maybe a lot of people are like, you can't do yeah, that. That's right. crazy. It's like over the top. <laughs> it's kind of over the top, you know. I mean, in a controlled way, it's not like you're just right. willy nilly going no. crazy. Oh, I'm, no. I'm going to do this just because it's crazy. That's yeah. not the point. No. Mm -hmm. But if you have this passion project where it's like, how do I take this passion plunge and jump off this thing where yeah. I'm going to live in the freaking forest, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, it, that's kind of a BHAG, like mm -hmm. go from inner city of Chicago to like back to the Driftless and, you know, live, live on a hillside, you know, with goats and stuff. I mean, <laughs> to me, you know, it, it's not audacious to someone looking in, but to me, that was like, oh, that would, that's impossible. I never, I could never do that. I would, okay. why would I do that? Yeah. So, you know, so it's this big, this big kind of funky, you, you know, somewhat unique, audacious goal, which is. And, and, and more specifically, you create that by saying, okay, here's a rough timeline of what I want to do, you know, and, and he says, this, for example, might be one year, it might be 25 years. Mm -hmm. So your, your company mission will last a quarter century ish, you know, mm -hmm. there, there's no rules on that. That's your own personal, you know, pathfinding kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And then. And then you actually get a new BHAG after, you know, so your, your company is going to do this crazy audacious project for 25 years after yeah. that has completed. So you, you know, when your BHAG is done, mm -hmm. I think this is hopefully a good example. I've got the, the, the cabin in the forest. I'm living, you know, that BHAG is done. What's my mm -hmm. next BHAG? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there's totally. serial adventures that you go on right. that are audacious like and, you know, give you passion, joy and, and wonderment and, you know, serve 
the first two elements first, of course. Yeah. What are your core values and what's your purpose? Mm -hmm. well, and I then think, from that, your BHAG show will emerge. Yeah. And a, an example of a BHAG for like a developer would be, I'm going to, I want to house all the homeless. Yeah. You know, that's yeah. a big audacious goal. Right. Right. But if you're really driven towards that and that's your dharma. Yeah. You know, in 10 years, bam, you, you may have housed like 80% of the homeless. Yeah. You know, well, and we, you know, big goal, you know, we, in and out, this isn't necessarily the BHAG, but a potential BHAG that we've all yeah, dreamed about yeah, yeah. is saying, you know, well, let's, let's take, you know, open land, you know, vacant land yep. and redevelop it using local materials and, and earthen yep. structures and make these cool, affordable, super permanent homes yeah. as a sort of company development, you know, yeah. um, organization type of thing make it sustainable make it sustainable Maybe we could even and reproducible food. i mean and create our electricity that's a bag sure why not? exactly you know so we're not we're not to the point of like it. that's our thing but no. that's sort of on the table of like potential yeah, right. things that we're going to collaborate with we dream about we dream about true you know, that all yeah and, talk about. and how crazy that you know all these 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 other you know folks that we're involved with that are that are have mastery in that area that you know, when, if, and when we're ready to go, like, wow, we could actually do this. Like yeah. make these amazing, super permanent structures have it surrounded by these sustainable gardens and, and, mm -hmm. you know, ways to, you know, so essentially it becomes like, how do we, how do we act in a way where we have sustainability of shelter, of soul, of sustenance and of society? Mm -hmm. Like once yeah. you have those four elements, yeah. And, you know, not everybody does or even yeah. has the hope for that as things evolve and change. Yeah. This bioregion has that probability yeah. to have that occur. It's going to need people to sort of have vision within it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Absolutely. And those with vision will achieve their BHAG. Mm -hmm. And those without vision might, but, it, you know, it's just going to be something different. Because, and willpower. Well, and it all flow Exactly. It all, <laughs> because it all flows from passion. Yeah. You know, it's a pa it's these multiple serial passion plunges that we take. Yeah. And then when we can cooperate on them together in this sort of vision, vision framework, mm -hmm. and then finding the right economic targets where you can make it sustainable. Sure. You know, that's loosely where we're going. You know, we're broadly where we're going. We're going to go to this this passion plunge situation where we're all kind of following our bliss. We're making it sustainable from, um, you know, financial standpoints. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it's, it's all about like giving and sharing and appreciating and yeah, evolving absolutely. and adapting and creating a new foundation for society. So that yeah. 20,000 years from now, they're all over the place. They're all over the place. And, and <laughs> we're, our, our descendants are still here doing the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, you know, this inevitability of, of, of civilizations to collapse and evolve and turn into something else. Mm -hmm. It's like, do we have, does that have, you know, is that how it has to be? No. Or can we set up stuff now? Yeah. Can we take a quantum leap out of the old yeah. patterns? Out of the old patterns. Yeah. 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 Can evolutionarily, um, culturally speaking. Yeah. You know, and, and, sure. Why not? Right. Why not? And, and, I, and, and, you know, the mm. hypothesis is that one way you can do that is if we have a shared vision of how we do that. Right. Mm -hmm. Which is the exciting thing that we're, we're sort of all entering into now. Mm -hmm. Well, it seems to me, you know, that first step of developing your values, you know, if, if, if all the individuals have similar values, mm -hmm. like I, I would, I believe like as far as our tribe goes, one of the values is that we believe in respecting each other mm -hmm. completely, really. Yeah. And, and realizing we're all imperfect beings and mm -hmm. we're all humble. Yeah. In a sense. Yeah. And I don't know, but you just take that step and that's necessary for the next step. Yeah. Necessary for the next step. Yeah. And another really interesting perspective that about the, this issue of, you know, the, the team, the group, like coming together. I mean, individually, we can look at that from a psychological perspective as all the different aspects of our personality mm -hmm. and see if all get all those to agree on what your, what your goals are, what yeah. your, you know, the, yeah. you know, yeah, yeah. it's really, yeah. Well, and we, and we've seen struggle amongst our group, you know, where, mm -hmm. and I think, and reflecting on, it, I think part of it is that we we're close to it, 
but we didn't have a clearly defined vision yeah. yet. But now, you know, yeah. maybe, hopefully, you know. We're honing in on We're it. honing in on it. And, and using this framework is, is probably going to get us there. Well, and the and idea I of guess. respecting each other keeps us all together, too. Yeah. So we're not, we're, yeah. well, we're solid. Yeah. And kind of understanding, like, oh, okay, we missed this step. Let's back up. Mm -hmm. Instead of, like, just forgetting about it or mm -hmm. falling apart and... Some people are, of course, going to decide against it. And, yeah. But to be like, okay, let's just go back and start. Go back here. to the let's vision. The foundation. Absolutely. And the foundation, I guess, in this way is the vision, mm -hmm. which we, you know, again, if what, once we have that established foundational vision, mm -hmm. then when we have issues and strife, which are going to happen, like right. just plan like for events. that, like plan for every, <laughs> yeah, right. every, every worst case scenario is probably going to happen in one way or another. <laughs> You know, people are going to have this, they're going to have that. And there's going to be these constant struggles because we're crazy, yeah. you know, monkey human <clears throat> people or whatever. But, uh, you know, unlike the yeah. monkey who I don't think has the capability to develop a vision, we can be guided by vision. And, mm -hmm. yeah. and so, you know, it's like such an obvious thing when you think about it, yeah. it's not even a big deal. It's not like, you know, it's not really about the vision as much as like what the vision allows you to accomplish, but you can't accomplish anything as clearly and sustainably and as enduringly mm -hmm. without vision mm -hmm. well what we're it was what we're learning i mean from a manifesting perspective too it's the vision mm -hmm. that allows us to create this thing mm -hmm. and that's what we do as humans we envision you know some somebody envisioned a wheel somebody envisioned a car somebody envisioned a plane somebody yeah. envisioned and we're just we're going with that reality working together and choosing our vision consciously yeah. yeah what do we want to create yeah in a way too it's just it's supporting the good supporting yeah. the positive yeah. instead of fighting whatever yeah Innovation. we're just creating our own thing right know? right right and it's well i mean it's i think it's similar to what you're saying which is interesting is that if you if you we're so we're such such powerful manifestors mm -hmm. Like we are, mm -hmm. I, I think, you know, I mean, but oh, yeah. everybody, you know, every, everybody has every, the potential everybody, to manifest. I think everybody's a powerful manifester. I mean, that's my personal belief. Right. And it's just it, like, what are we going to manifest? What are you going to manifest? So the scary thing or the, the <laughs> yeah, I know. well, the motivation is if you, because we are strong manifestors, mm -hmm. yeah. like all of us have that potential, yes. either you have it or you could easily, you know, acquire the, the understanding of how to manifest create things in the world consciously like if, consciously but if but the problem is if you and this i think happens so often in the world mm -hmm. people manifest and they create this thing but if it's not guided by vision mm -hmm. or maybe even starts with a vision but then it detour detours off the vision yeah and, you know quite quite often you gotta start with the vision and you have to reorient back to your vision when you when you do manifest otherwise you may be manifesting that three four five steps down the line a generation down it turns into a net negative. Mm -hmm. Like who wants to be part of that? Well, I, I, Less likely to happen if you start with vision. Yeah. Well, and be conscious if that's of- that's part of the vision. <laughs> yeah, and be it's conscious of the, of the energy behind the vision as well. Yeah. I mean, if, if I'm going to be, if my vision is going to be based on anger and fear and mm -hmm. yada, yada, yada. Or yeah. profit. Yeah. Right. Greed. 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 Easy just to like do, out of you know? balance. Yeah, yeah, out of yeah. that. I mean, so whatever really, I manifest is, yeah. is probably not going to be really- in harmony with yeah what i with the universe well and mm. just like the you know how little steps now you know magnify into the future yeah i mean if you don't start with vision almost you know it, who knows what the probability is but it's just such a high probability that down the line it's going to vibrate and kind of break right. apart into something sure. not good well, like what the vision allows us compass too it's yeah. like a pointer in the right mm -hmm. direction keeps us accountable yeah mm -hmm. i mean yeah. internally mm -hmm. if i'm doing something and it's not in line with my vision yeah if i if i'm aware of it i'm aware of it yeah <laughs> you know instead of just spinning down some yeah some other negative path right. or some selfish something or another it, it's just i mean it, so it, hard it guides us it helps vision. us guide our yeah. lives yeah. and guide our, yeah. our minds and yeah yeah, it's collectively. So, I yeah. think I think that's a, a cool thing about our tribe talking about the respect and then just the idea of a vision that is purposeful for 
growing and sustaining mm-hmm. the future yeah. versus oh, yeah. fueling us in the present so we can mm-hmm. stuff our pockets or mm-hmm. something like that. Right. So, I, you know, you can have a vision that's, I want to stuff my pockets, but yeah. it's not going to help in the future. And what yeah. it kind of helps, what it reminds me of is in the Bhagavad Gita, they talk about that greed and desire are the things that keep us away from the original purpose of mm-hmm. being connected. Yeah. So if if profit is a, a part of it, but it's like off to the distance yeah. and it's not what drives the mm-hmm. the navigation of how do we create this thing, yeah, then it's more likely that the universe supports it and makes right. it possible right, right. and helps us manifest. And exactly. I mean, I think vision is, you know... It, a vision in some ways is like this divine God energy that's like in all of us, you know, to whatever, mm-hmm. whatever mm-hmm. word you want to apply to that, yeah. you know, and if that is our guiding energy, you know, mm-hmm. there's this, the filamentous beauty that is infusing through all of us that is pushing us forward. Then speaking of profits, it's like, if profits are your motivation, like you said, you know, it's just going to probably turn into something you don't want later even if it starts okay right but if vision (laughs) is your motivation Mm -hmm. and if vision is your collective motivation Mm -hmm. then you the result is collective abundance is profits you know so the result is what you would want it is what you would want to achieve if you were being very selfish about it with you know kind of a an erroneous um you know vision kind of thing so you you get what you really need at the end, you know, and and abundance is, isn't just cash profit, which right. will include that almost invariably if you have a good product that's you know economically sound, guided by vision, and you're all collectively working to obtain that BHAG. I mean, mm-hmm. how does you know? It's like how does that not work? Well, especially right. if it's in line work? with the universe. That's the thing. The vi- and vision right. is in line yeah. with those you know, beautiful soul energy kind yeah, of things. Right. And so abundance isn't just the cash profit, but it's also an abundance of like security because of the interpersonal relationships and the friendships that you, mm-hmm. that you find and you, you um, strengthen and the mutual respect that we have for each other <clears throat> and the act of ultimately back to what we first said, it's all about sharing and giving the things that you've sort of dare say achieved a little mastery in mm. Mm -hmm. the ability to teach it Mm -hmm. you know righteously teach it what are you doing you know you're doing that for yourself in a way like oh this i feel so good when i teach this is crazy but really you're giving you know you're just as much as you're doing it for yourself Mm -hmm. you are indeed giving and you're gifting this knowledge and wisdom onto somebody who doesn't have it yet yeah but Mm -hmm. now does Mm -hmm. yeah so it's this whole circle cycle flow of an intertwined matrix of like doing good yeah creating things that endure and like have profit and like, wow, this is a pretty cool organization. Mm -hmm. And ultimately are perhaps a way to, like you said, you know, break the cycle of like birth and death of civilizations over and over again. (laughs) (laughs) This leader killed that one to get in charge and now they're in charge and this leader got killed and now their son killed. And then the two sons killed each, you know, it's just like over and over (laughs) again. You know, if you, if you sure. look from like a 20,000 yeah. foot view and, you yeah. know, yeah. and it's like, how do we overcome that? Yeah. Like seemingly inevitability mm-hmm. and, and dare say it's through ha- the opportunity to live in a place like we, where we live, to have a matrix of people that we do, mm-hmm. and then to form this primordial vision that will guide us to be town founders for the next version of life to, you know, 2.0. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's Maybe. really beautiful too, because and what I feel is part of the ultimate vision is remembering the overcompassing passion or not passion purpose, which is being connected to divine or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and with if all of us have that, then of course we respect each other and everything that mm-hmm. art we value is yeah. in accordance to that. Yeah. So Ooh, it, if you <laughs> yeah, if 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 a if a organization, if a group, if a if a tribe has that ultimate 
like guiding principle yeah. then i feel like the universe is like yeah yeah because it all it it, it's all Here sort of go. the same thing <laughs> I, you know it all comes from the same place in a way yeah. So ab yeah, absolutely you know, yeah. another way to be abundant too it's like once you're on that path i believe just an abundance of vitality mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. isn't that just you know that's a feeling mm -hmm. that's a, mm -hmm. yeah fulfillment yeah i think or it comes from fulfillment yeah. for whatever reason yeah. i just got a picture of a monk and how monks seem to live long and look youthful and i think that's yeah. because they're just always going to that ultimate purpose like okay this mm -hmm. is all i do mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> except i do some chores but otherwise that's, yeah you know yeah and and that's what i saw in my mm -hmm. mind when you said interesting that. Mm -hmm. i mean life in some ways is cut short and it is affected by our levels of like stress hormones and our mm -hmm. overall sort of just state of serenity internal serenity knowing uh, it it can't always be serene but no. because it can't always be serene you you have to strive for internal serenity at all times as much as you can mm -hmm. and so with within these organizations you know part of the vision building is is sort of maximizing the ratio of of bliss passion plunge type of situations with the degree of stress those adventures induce or could exactly. induce so this bliss to stress ratio mm -hmm. where you know our bodies are destroyed by stress i mean you know cortisol is like people know you know it's like pregnant you know it's being on a dose of prednisone every day which thank goodness we have prednisone for those that need it but as we know over the mm -hmm. long term it's it's a really harsh substance to, to have in the body we have our own internal prednisone essentially and if that's constantly at a high level, mm -hmm. it's just battering the body, mm. battering the body. And so this type of organization building where we purposefully seek to have a degree of serenity in what we do because we can feel righteous about what we're doing mm -hmm. because we're ultimately trying to do good here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we are. And we're trying to do it collectively and yeah. we're doing it in an adventurous way. You know, it's like <laughs> that sign me up for that that sounds yeah, pretty cool right. you know so <laughs> the age of aquarius yeah yeah it was almost we've all been dreaming about it and however you know maybe not that word but well, golden the, age mm -hmm. Satcha Yuga, whatever, you yeah, know, however you want to see it but we don't have to repeat history yeah. No, are, I mean, are you sure? It seems yeah. like well, we I do. Mean, I know it's history it's, says. People can choose <laughs> I know. It if I know. they wish. But mm. I think what we're talking about Sorry. is ways to mm -hmm. vet against repeating history. Yeah. Well, it's it's turning yeah. that cycle. Yeah. If you're just walking in a circle constantly in that in that pattern, what we're trying to do is turn that circle into a spiral that goes up. Mm -hmm. you know and that's mm. you see yeah so we don't have to make the same mistakes it's just so interesting yeah, to me yeah. how people um have a hard time understanding that we could actually get beyond hating each other <laughs> or beyond that's like history. bizarre to me uh, beyond fear can we get beyond anger mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. sure why not mm -hmm. you know we can touch on it we can have it I, maybe not getting beyond it, but we can put it into balance. Yeah. It doesn't have to be our driving force. Right, right, right. Fear right. doesn't. And maybe it had to be our driving force when we were cavemen. True. We really did. We, uh, we wouldn't be we, here. We were probably all in a cave together. Right. You know, and I'm we sure. had right, right to. Right down by, you know, bridge 18 in the, <laughs> off the Kickapoo there. You and know? we had to defend that cave. That's a good point. Like, we, we wouldn't had be to. here if we didn't have no, that. We All of our ancestors ancestors were just like badass mm, yeah had you know, to be boom it had to be yeah and wow. warriors yeah you know? and yeah now we just have to apply that in a new way in a new way instead yeah. of fighting mm -hmm. amongst each other yeah, yeah. with other tribes yeah. we unite with the tribes yeah and we fight against the old habits yeah mm -hmm. and if and if we can hatred. take that and turn it into these entrepreneurial things that gives you power because you know the work you know you, you sort of need that sort of baseline to you, you can have these ideas but mm -hmm. if you have an organization that also has the prowess of being successful mm -hmm. as an organization whether nonprofit profit whatever but you just you have sort of the back backing of capital and, and assets and power and people and sure. yeah mm -hmm. then you can take those ideas and like you said you know break outside of just the constant cycle of the circle and turn it into yeah. more of a spiral yeah which like people have probably seen that youtube video where 
they they show the earth and it's just spinning around you think you're stationary and then oh we're actually going at thousands of miles an hour because we're on top yeah. you know this sphere and then that sphere is like circling around this sun yeah. and that sun is like hurtling through space yeah yeah in it's in an or its own orbit around you know and the whole yeah. galaxy is turning yeah so really if you fast forward out and drew, draw these comet tails around mm -hmm. where you are you're like multiple vortices hurtling through space i think yeah. the fastest velocity is like a half a million miles an hour okay. wow. which is yep. how fast like the whole universe is moving or something yeah <laughs> so right now that's yeah. how fast we're going in like yeah 10 different axes yep yeah. what it's we're like, not stationary yep yeah. plus your <laughs> your cells are spinning right right <laughs> i mean inside your cell, yeah. it's yeah. like that's like the microcosm it's of crazy. it it's like Man, there's a lot of movement in there's energy. A movement. Yeah, a lot of energy. Energy, yeah. just like, let's hook into that. Yeah. Let's create a better world. That's what yeah. we're talking can about, we? essentially. Can we really do it? <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, <laughs> let's try. try. Yeah, why not? <laughs> Might as well give it a shot. Yeah. What do we have to lose, oh. you know? Yeah. So I'm feeling yeah, like yeah, this yeah. is a good point mm. to just say we are so happy for people listening, that like we're so blessed for our <laughs> tribe to continue growing and... Yeah. And and be a part of yeah. this vision of of interconnecting with sustainability and and thinking of the future generations and how do we create a new society yeah. that it honors all of these things and yeah. um yeah there's more to come more to say more mm -hmm. to share mm -hmm. and we're all in this together oh, yeah we so. are in this together ah, all our energies combine and we can create. Yeah. Amazing things. Yeah. yeah. I think so. Yeah. yeah. So out there, please subscribe. If you have any questions for us, let us know. We'll definitely do our best to answer. And I'm sure we can get Tony back in here soon and uh, continue mm -hmm. with our, awesome. our dreaming, scheming, and creating foundational mastery of future vision um, yeah and thanks for being yes. here tony yeah. your your insight is always very um uh, refreshing mm, yeah. thank you for sure Honored. yeah Honored. i always get inspired like yes let's go let's do it <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> awesome uh -huh. awesome thank you be well bye-bye so this next one is called chatter chakra and it's really close to my heart and you'll hear how close it is to my heart in a few moments but i want to read it to you uh this is my textbook from kundalini yoga teacher training and this mantra is for releasing all fears that bind chatter chakra varti chatter chakra bugate suyambav subang sarabada Sarva Jugate. Dukalang Pranasi, Dayalang Sarupe, Sadaang Gasange, Abangang Bibute. Thou art pervading in all the four directions, the enjoyer of all four directions. Thou art self illumined and united with all, destroyer of bad times, embodiment of mercy. Thou art ever within us. Thou art the everlasting giver of undestroyable power. These are the last four lines of the Guru Gobind Singh Jap Sahib, which is the ancient text. This mantra removes fear, anxiety, depression, and phobias and brings victory. It instills courage and fearlessness into the fiber of the person. It gives Sahib control over one's domain, self-command and self-grace. Recite this when your position is endangered, when your authoritative personality is weak. So for someone who's trying to heal their solar plexus always, this is a really great one. <laughs> and it is a personal request from a student of mine. So a shout out to Melissa. Thanks for asking for this mantra. And we will share it now. Chada Chakra Varti Chada Chakra Bogate Suyamba Suban Sarabada to Kalam Brana Sinde Yanam Sarupe Sada Anga Sang
चर चक्रवर्ती चर चक्र भुगते स्वयं चर चक्रवर्ती चर चक्र भगत है स्वयं चर चक्रवर्ती चर चक्र भोगा थे स्वयं बाव सुपंसर